Imagine a world where the skies resound with the roar of engines and the grandeur of aviation's golden age is brought back to life. Long ago, there was a time where creativity and allure intertwine. The iconic Fairchild C-119 aircraft design soared again, surpassing all expectations. Why, in this modern age of advanced aerospace technology, do they not recreate this incredible aviation history today? Back in the day, the C-119 was a real game changer. But nowadays, its design doesn't quite measure up to the sleek standards of modern aviation. Since the C-119's prime, aircraft design and technology have evolved significantly. Modern aircraft now boast advanced materials, aerodynamics, avionics, and propulsion systems. To construct a C-119 today, one must make substantial modifications and upgrades to meet modern safety, performance, and regulatory requirements. The C-119 was crafted with a specific purpose, military transport and cargo missions. However, its capabilities may need to be improved compared to those of our modern transport aircraft. The payload capacity, range, and performance might not be up to par for today's military or commercial operators who are looking for more aircraft efficiency, flexibility, and capability. Creating a new C-119 could lead to a less efficient and cost-effective aircraft than modern alternatives. Creating a brand new aircraft, even if built on a previous model like the C-119, demands significant resources for research, development, testing, and certification. Considering the availability of more advanced and cost-effective alternatives on the market, the demand for a new C-119 or similar aircraft may be limited. With a compelling reason or customer interest, it would make financial sense for aircraft manufacturers to produce a new C-119. The C-119, a legendary aircraft, boasts a maintenance and support system that would be difficult to recreate in modern times. Due to their scarcity or outdated nature, obtaining spare parts, following maintenance procedures, and accessing technical expertise for the C-119 can be challenging and expensive. Modern aircraft have standardized maintenance practices, computerized diagnostic systems, and comprehensive support networks to guarantee reliability, safety, and efficiency during their operational lifespan. When embarking on creating a new aircraft, one must adhere to strict aviation regulations and certification standards set forth by aviation authorities across the globe. These regulations delve into different facets of aircraft design, manufacturing operation, and maintenance to guarantee airworthiness, safety, and environmental protection. Updating the C-119 design to comply with current regulations would require extensive redesign and testing, adding complexity to the possibility of constructing new aircraft using this design. The C-119 systems and components, such as its engines, avionics, and communication systems, seems old-fashioned compared to modern aircraft's advanced technology. Constructing a new C-119 would involve finding or creating outdated technology, which might need to be more practical and economical. Moreover, contemporary aircraft reap the rewards of progress in material science, manufacturing techniques, and systems integration, offering enhanced performance, efficiency, and reliability in contrast to older designs, such as the C-119. Like older aircraft, the C-119 may not comply with modern environmental standards and emissions regulations. In the world of aviation, modern aircraft have been crafted with a keen eye on fuel efficiency, reduced emissions, and noise abatement, all to lessen their environmental impact. Manufacturing new C-119s may lead to aircraft that are less fuel efficient or environmentally friendly than modern alternatives, potentially making them less appealing to operators and regulators focused on sustainability and environmental responsibility. In today's aviation market, the demand for aircraft such as the C-119 may be limited as operators focus on modernization, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness. Over time, the need for military transport has changed significantly from the era of the C-119. There is a stronger focus on strategic airlift capabilities, quick deployment, and the ability to work seamlessly with other aircraft and systems. Commercial cargo operators favor modern freighters for their increased payload capacities, extended ranges, and reduced operating costs compared to older designs such as the C-119. To manufacture new C-119s, one would need to rebuild the supply chain for components, materials, and subsystems that are no longer easily accessible or manufactured. Countless suppliers and manufacturers of vintage aircraft components have either closed down 
or redirected their attention to contemporary aerospace projects, creating challenges in obtaining parts for older aircraft models. Reconstructing the supply chain for the C-119 would bring complexity, cost, and uncertainty to the manufacturing process, making it even more challenging to produce new aircraft using this design. Back then, the C-119 was known to be a trustworthy and secure aircraft. However, as time passed, safety measures and regulations have been updated to keep up with the ever-changing aviation landscape. To construct new C-119s, one must adhere to strict safety regulations, such as crashworthiness standards, bird strike resistance, and fire protection measures. Substantial changes in structural enhancements may be necessary to update the C-119 design to comply with current safety standards, affecting the aircraft's performance, weight, and cost. Since the era of the C-119, the aviation industry has undergone significant evolution, introducing new technologies, concepts, and aircraft designs to address transportation and logistics challenges. Unmanned aerial vehicles, such as drones, are now being utilized for tasks like cargo delivery, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. They provide cost, flexibility, and operational efficiency benefits compared to conventional human-crewed aircraft. Furthermore, the future of aviation is being reshaped by advancements in vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL aircraft, electric propulsion, and autonomous systems. These innovations offer creative solutions to address changing market demands and operational needs. To construct new C-119 aircraft, one must adhere to current aviation regulations and certification standards, which have evolved to be more rigorous. To meet these requirements, one must conduct thorough testing, analysis, and documentation to showcase the aircraft's airworthiness, structural integrity, and operational safety. Getting the green light for a new production run of the C-119 would be quite the journey, time-consuming, expensive, and full of uncertainties. These obstacles could make bringing it back into service quite challenging. Creating a new production variant of the C-119 could be costly, potentially surpassing the market demand and revenue it could bring in. When investing in new aircraft programs, manufacturers focus on those that promise higher profits, have more significant market potential, and come with lower development risks. Considering the niche market for vintage or specialized aircraft, such as the C-119, the feasibility of starting a new production line might be uncertain, particularly when considering economies of scale and competition from established aircraft manufacturers. There are quite a few hurdles to overcome when it comes to keeping old aircraft like the C-119 up and running. Finding spare parts, skilled maintenance workers, and the necessary support systems can be challenging. Enthusiasts and historical organizations may choose to restore and preserve vintage aircraft for display or limited flight operations. However, maintaining a fleet of operational C-119s would demand continuous investment in maintenance facilities, training programs, and supply chain management. Efforts to maintain the reliability and safety of these aircraft are complicated by the need for a strong aftermarket support network and the aging of existing C-119 airframes. The C-119 is not just an aircraft. It's a symbol of aviation innovation and military transport capabilities. However, returning it to production might not fit the larger cultural and historical preservation goals. Countless vintage aircraft are highly esteemed as museum pieces or living artifacts that embody distinct eras, technologies, and accomplishments in aviation history. Instead of churning out new C-119s, the attention could shift towards safeguarding the existing ones by restoring, conserving, and educating the public. This way, upcoming generations can value and gain knowledge from these legendary aircraft. Over time, military doctrine, operational concepts, and technology changes have significantly altered the need for tactical and strategic airlift capabilities. Back in the day, the C-119 was a reliable workhorse. However, nowadays, military forces look for aircraft that can carry more, fly farther, go faster and withstand more. In the world of transport aircraft, the C-130 Hercules, C-17 Globemaster III, and Airbus A400M Atlas stand out for their exceptional performance, versatility, and ability to serve multiple roles. These modern aircraft have surpassed the capabilities of the older C-119, better meeting the varied requirements of today's armed forces. The Fairchild C-119 is a legendary figure in the realm of aviation celebrated for its groundbreaking design and exceptional craftsmanship. Yet, the reason for its disappearance from today's skies can be linked to many factors. 
dealing with old design elements, navigating through regulations, facing financial limitations, and adapting to changing military needs. Reviving this legendary aircraft is quite challenging. As we gaze into the future of aviation, let's remember the enduring legacy of the C-119. It is a testament to the boundless pursuit of discovery and innovation that leads us on our journey through the heavens.